everyone! So today I wanted to go ahead and do a video on how to properly prep and prime your face before foundation application. Um, I'm, that's you know why I'm without makeup and if I look extra sick it's because I am just kind of been sitting around the house all day. And I just decided to do this video so excuse the appearance. I'm just going to go ahead and get started on some of the basics. Um, most of the stuff I use is from a brand named Jaffra, and the reason why I have so much of it is because my mom actually sells it, and she's been selling it for a long time. So I don't actually buy it, but she gives it to me. So, and I really like this stuff. So, um, the first thing you want to do, obviously, is wash your face, and I use this thing here. It is the Beauty Dynamics Revitalizing Pearl Cleanser, and it's like baby powder. You just pour that into your hand, and you wet it, and you lather it up, and you just scrub it all over your face. And after you wash your face, you know, you want to rinse it with colder water, as cold as you can take it. And then you're going to go ahead and use a toner. And I use the Balancing Dynamics toner from Jaffra. I usually use the purple one, which is for dry skin, but I ran out of that. And um, I have this one, which is Balancing. Okay, so after you've gotten that out of the way, you're going to want to put your specialty cream on. I don't know if that makes sense, but um, I use this uh, Ultra Nourishing Gold Gel by Jaffra. And the reason I love this stuff is because um, it's really, it's just like one or two drops. But the reason why I love it is just because it, um, I've noticed that my pores have been shrinking since I've started using this pretty religiously and just an overall better appearance of my skin because I have a lot of freckles on my forehead and on my cheeks and my nose, my chin, as well as a lot of acne scars, especially around my nose and right in this area is where most of my acne scars are. So you're going to do that and you're going to go ahead and let your specialty cream or serum set in. Then after that you're going to want to moisturize and um, I use this one by Jaffra. It's called Time Dynamic Time Protecting Daily Defense Cream and it has an SPF of 15. And I'm going to go ahead and apply that with my Sephora, no, 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 not that brush. This is just a Coastal Scents foundation brush. I'm just going to go ahead and apply that, and it's synthetic, you don't want to apply a cream product with um, a natural hairbrush because it leaves it really gunky, you don't want that. Just put that, and don't put that around your eyes. I've noticed that a lot of people put moisturizer that belongs on their face around their eye, and they don't just put it on there, but they kind of really rub it in there. And it's a pretty common mistake. I know it's a mistake that I used to make until recently. My sister-in-law, whose mother is an esthetician, told me that putting eye cream, putting face cream underneath your eyes is really bad because the grease of it sinks into your eye and it makes your eyes proof up. So that is a big, big no-no. Do not put face cream around your eyes. You want eye cream, <laughs> obviously. You want eye cream, specialized eye cream around your eye. And the other thing I've noticed too that some people are using body cream on their face and you don't want to do that. Your face needs collagen, your face needs certain vitamins and minerals and you have more pores on your face than you do on the rest of your body and you don't want to use a body cream on your face because it's going to clog you up and it's not going to, though it's going to moisturize it and it's going to soften the appearance of fine lines, it's not going to give you any added health benefits. So that's why I really wouldn't recommend using it. Now normally I have a Jaffra eye cream, but I completely ran out. So this is just a little sample one I got from Sephora. It's called Hydrodynamics Ultra Moisturizer for Eyes. A little bitty sample. So I'm just going to go ahead and put that around my eyes. And this, you do want to rub in, and you want to put that all the way up to your brow bone. Do the same, obviously, for the other eye. Now we're going to go ahead and let our creams set into our skin for at least five minutes. So yeah, like at least five minutes before you start to apply anything else. So, that is just the basic prepping so you know I cannot stress how important it is not to use face cream around your eye area it leads to puffiness and I don't know if you've seen women that are in their 40s and their eye, their face doesn't really seem to be wrinkled but they have that really poofed out eye area right here and that's the reason why it's because of 
face lotion underneath your eye area. So I can't stress that enough. Now that we've let that dry, I'm gonna go ahead and put some moisturizer on my lips. This is my favorite lip moisturizer. This is the Blistex Revive, and it comes with two on here. It comes with the Revive one, and it comes with the Restore. The Restore is okay, it's just like a typical uh, lip balm, but this one here, I feel like it really gets into your, it really delivers the moisture. I have very dry skin, so it's quite necessary for me. So I'm gonna go ahead and use my face primer. I've been using the Too Faced Primed Poreless Face Primer for a while. I really like this one. I know that a lot of people say that if you have dry skin, that this might not be the primer for you, but I have overall dry skin and I love this primer. Just apply a little on my forehead as well and around my mouth area. So you're gonna to wanna to let that sit for a bit as well. So, um, whenever my skin is as dry as it is right now, you know, the winter, we're barely getting over it, and I live in a really dry climate. I like to use the Laura Mercier Silk Cream Foundation. Love this stuff. Let's see if you can, if I can hold it still for you guys. And I am Beige Ivory. Now, what's weird about this foundation is it, uh, it's a little dark for me. It's not too dark. It's just a little dark, but it's kind of yellow on my skin tone. Uh, I didn't want to go too light just because my face is so much lighter than the rest of my body. So I'm going to go ahead and start with this. This is a Sephora 56 brush. So I'm just going to start. And this foundation takes a really long time to dry. So you, that is why I didn't dot it all over my face and why I just started it straight from my hand and onto the brush because it takes a long time for it to dry. So you have time to work with it. So I'm going to go ahead and buff this all in. It's right over my red spots. Buff, buff. Make sure you um, get into the hairline. Normally I use a apricot concealer or a sometimes a yellow concealer under my eye and I tend to use green concealer on my acne scars and on my red spots but because the Laura Mercier Silk Cream Foundation is very heavy already I don't like to add any more weight to it on the bottom because it runs the risk of looking quite cakey and nobody likes a cake face so I'm just gonna go ahead and bring that down forgive me if I look like I'm being rough with myself. I am on medication, so it's possible that I am being rather rough. So, there we go. So make sure you have that all blended nicely in there. And whenever you're putting on makeup, make sure that you have really clean hands so that if you need to, you can go ahead and go over your skin to make it look, your foundation to make it look seamless and even. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to take my Kors Concealer Corrector. I got this at Sephora not too long ago. It was on sale. And that's why I picked it up. Dip my finger in there, which probably isn't the most hygienic thing to do. That's why you want to make sure that your fingers are always nice and clean whenever you're applying your makeup or anybody else's. Make sure you have really clean hands. So I'm just going to go over all my little spots. Especially around my forehead. Around my nose. Here. So now I'm just gonna put it all in. Now um if you need powder, go ahead and apply powder. But my skin is so dry right now that I really I have absolutely no use for powder. It would really dry me out at the moment. Yeah, so that's how to properly prep and prime your face. So remember to cleanse, tone, uh, if you have your specialty cream that you like to put on, you know, for any kind of correcting benefits, go ahead and do that. And then 
your moisturizer all over your face and on your neck too. I forgot to include that part, but you want to go from your neck all the way down because this part is really as thin as the skin on your face and it also needs a lot of sun protection. And remember not to put face cream on your eye. Go ahead and use a specialized eye cream. You can use a synthetic foundation brush if you'd like or you can use your hands. I like using this because I feel like it leaves my products more hygienic and it doesn't leave it to any bacteria build up. And then you, you put on your primer and then you just put on your foundation. So I really hope that this video helps some of you guys. Um, if you have any questions or any comments, please let me know and y'all have a wonderful day.